Welcome back to the channel, Jim here. Thanks for joining in. Today, if you've joined, you're going to hear about dive notes, something I feel the absolute indispensable tool for the advanced diver or pro. Stay tuned. Outline for today, wet note features, pencil choices, notes to save and use, DM and instructor notes, my notes examples, where to carry, and something you won't want to miss, a bonus track, the big dog wet note story. And last, the big dog buy recommendations. And basically what they are is they are um, usually a Cordura holder, and then inside is the notebook, which is replaceable. This comes out and is replaceable, and the pages are waterproof. Now. The Cordura holder has a few features that, that are nice or not. This one has some holders in the front for pens or pencils, and I'm going to talk to you about which one I like and which one I don't. And in the back, it has totally useless card holders and flaps and things that I never use. Um, it has some placeholders which have gone all wanky. I think one of these was actually for keeping it closed, uh, an elastic, and then the other one was a placeholder for the inside. Now also very important, most of them have a tab where you can tie on a bolt snap. Nowadays, I notice, and at the end I'm going to show you, uh, there are some that have an actual little plastic D-ring attached that you can tie a bolt snap to or, or something like that. Or maybe a double ender, which is what I'll probably do in the future. It was brought to my attention that the unit that I was using for show is really shabby, so let's, let's have a look at what this is going to be my new wet notes here. And it's a no-name version, I really don't remember. You can see the Cordura. Here is what the elastic looks like when it's working. So it's it's nice and, and taut. And then the inside elastic, here's my, got my pen all set. The inside elastic is gonna be holding holding your page. So as you're, you're using pages, you're gonna mark the new pages like this. I right, just keep putting it to the new page. And then I've just got the elastic here like this. And there she is. Let's have a quick look at the pencils. Now, usually, this is what comes with these standard units. It's, it's just a regular golf pencil. Um, very often they're not wood because the wood would, would rot or get soft. They're some kind of, um, some kind of a synthetic wood. Wood! <laughs> <laughs> I hate these. <laughs> they really don't do well at all. I'm gonna show you a comparison. So here's the second one also I, I don't like. So the other thing I have is one of these. Now, this is one of those where you pull off the point and stick it up its butt and they keep pulling it. Uh, so the nice thing is you have you don't have to sharpen like, like with that other one. And the other nice thing is this doesn't have moving parts that are going to rust. It's all plastic. Uh, the not so nice thing is the lead is really hard and sharp. And again, it doesn't write really nicely. So this is the third one here. Next, I'm going to show you what I think is the Mac Daddy. And I forget where I saw this. It might have been on the Deco Stop or Scuba Board or, or something like that. Now this one is, it's a Pilot, what is it? A Pilot Croquis 6B. What, what it is, it, it has moving parts, but they're all plastic. So it's not gonna rust. It has a super thick lead here. And here is the controller for the lead. And this thing writes fantastic. Oh, so, there we go. Yeah, so here it was testing and then here's nice. This one is the only one I can really consistently read without total effort. Uh, maybe, maybe there are other pencil options like HB or, or different thicknesses, uh, but this one works fantastic. And it's nice to hold in the hand and never needs to be sharpened. The other thing is, I think I read online that, so there's a little hole, a little butthole here, and I think this cap and the, oh. <laughs> okay, so this thing comes apart, presumably so you can change this lead. Now, I saw some folks take a bungee, a thin bungee, put it through here, tie a knot, and it connects to the pencil, and then, how does this connect, there we go, and then this can be connected to the pad all the time. That's a pretty handy feature. You'll probably notice a lot of them have the pencil attached by a bungee to the pad. That's kind of nice, I mean, you don't want to drop this, that'd be nasty. Um, none of mine are connected at the moment, probably a little bit dangerous. So these are the pencils, highly recommend this one. I had a look in here. The oldest uh, notes I have are from 2006. So these are 14 years old, 14 years plus. It's pretty incredible. I keep a bunch of stuff pre-written and just saved in here all the time. For regular divers, you know, just the average Joe diver, things that, are, that I leave in here for just diving purposes, common creature names that are hard to explain, like those are squid eggs or nudibranch eggs. So there's a, there's, a group of creatures here. So there's a blue, 
bluefish or a pair of bluefish that kind of hover around over this goby fish that is the guardian or the keeper of a shrimp and they all live in this tunnel and that's really hard to explain with gestures so I have that explained on a page in here and just show someone someone says hey what's that bam here it is uh, what else also I keep some rock bottom some turn pressure some air management pressures for different tanks different tank sizes here in Japan we have 10 liter steel 12 liter steel uh, 14 liter steel and 11 liter aluminum. Aluminum 80 is like 10.5, 11 liters. So I have those all here that I can refer to quickly and therefore make, make some dive planning with, with my buddy. As a diver, just a regular diver, you are an everyday diver, this I think is a fantastic, amazing, indispensable tool that you should think of before lots of other tools. This will bring your communication to alpha levels. Because if you saw my, my last video about just simple hand gestures of numbers, there was a story in the back gestures gone wrong. It wasn't anything terrible happened, but have two different people had two incredibly different ideas of what a set of hand gestures meant. It was a complex idea. I keep deco tables in here from my deco days of deco training and deco diving. So I will have on a wrist slate, I will have the deco uh, schedule, but I'll also have a copy in here just in case. And this one is a historic record. This one is going to be erased. This one's a historic record that I can look back. Hey, what did I do on that rack or that day? As a pro or a dive master, totally indispensable. As a dive master, right, I have briefing notes for different dive sites, like some of the notable features, uh, things to remember, the good things and the bad things about the site. I, I keep pages for, for each site. I can add as I go along. Task list. As a technical instructor, I had a task list of, of items for divers to go through, a list of one through eight. And I would just point, okay, number four. Okay, good, all right. Number number six, all right, just just keep pointing instead of, because some of them have pretty uh, difficult names and, and you know remembering eight different uh, if hand gestures, if they were symbols, a lot easier to point to a description. Okay, common problems with tasks. For example, you know, the CISA, the emergency swimming ascent, I would have common feedback here, common reasons why people would mess up. Oh, you let your air out of your BC too quickly. Oh, you exhale too quickly. Oh, you weren't moving your fins enough. Common feedback to common skills, total boom, right? Just turn to the page, bam. Yeah, here's some feedback that, you know, would be maybe a little difficult by, by speaking. You started off great and then you just stopped. That was for an emergency swimming ascent. Yeah, here's one. The current is too strong. Let's stay in this area until our air is finished and then exit. The exit's near here. I can't equalize my ears. Uh, you take over the group and I'm going to exit. Use your BC and dry suit for buoyancy and stop finning. Where to keep this? You gotta have pockets. You probably have to have pocket shorts. All of these are about the same size because the refills, the, they're dictated by the refills. These are the refills you can get. They're, they're the same size. It doesn't really fit in a BC pocket well. It needs it needs pocket shorts. You're not going to clip this and just leave it hanging somewhere. You're not going to do that. So you need you need pocket shorts. And if you look at the Apex shorts, the, the Apex shorts I know have like a special pocket for just this inside the regular pocket. So this is separated from your SMB or your other items that you would have in your pocket. So I'm a big fan of the Apex shorts, the Tech shorts for for that reason. Uh, other shorts might have the same thing. But anyway, any shorts are better than nothing. I have to check if this class was 10 years or not because I, I wanted to talk about this open water class. It almost ended my instruction career because I I just almost quit. I, it, it just put me over the edge. And it was a couples situation, which I'm going to have a, a couples training video uh, very soon. And I look forward to that one. I think you're going to look forward to it too because it's going to be some fun times in there. But I had one, one of the couple was really not not doing well at all so just as an aside so my my open water training i do two full days in a pool two six hour days so there's probably seven hours with a break in there so two six hour days in the pool that's a lot of pool and then i'm doing five dives and then with this person i did two or maybe even three extra dives so what happened was one of the things that this this person was just not getting the BC at all. Not getting buoyancy because not, not getting the BC. And, you know, bless this person's heart. After all that time, you know, 12 hours in a pool using this thing and, and you know, all those hours in the water, every time we stepped in the water, 
the person, you know, I would motion, use the PC, inflate your PC. And the person would, would like look at the inflator and then like, what is this thing and how did it get on my equipment here? When did this thing get here? I'm like, seriously, seriously? Every time we stepped in the water, it was like, where did this come from? You know, it was, it was incredible. But I, I had, I had, here I was, I was kind of ramping up. I, I'm going to go to hell. I can, I can see it. So can't you feel that you're too heavy? You need to add air, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So remember, when you're hitting the bottom, you are too heavy and need to add air. <laughs> and this is when I, I brought the diver to an area that goes like up and down. It's a, cir a circuit. You go up the rocks, across, down the rocks, across. Up the rocks, across, down the rocks, across. You need to adjust the BC. So I, I said, all right, we're going to go up and down these rocks. Use the inflator deflator. I don't want to see you crashing on the ground or flying away to the surface. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! All right. So here, here's probably when I was I was losing it, right? I was I was losing my patience, and so I've got <laughs> after all that. So finally, and I don't know. There are other pages here too. These are just the ones I found quickly to that one diver, and here I, finally I'm, I'm probably I'm probably reaching my limit. It says, "Look, I know you're smart. When you are floating too much, let out air. When you are sinking too much, put air in. Use the inflator, deflator, exclamation point, exclamation point. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to hell. I know it. All right, I have to check and see if it's 10 years yet. Now I'm going to be a, a no good money grabber. My first thing, so I have some affiliate links. I have some affiliate links in the U.S. I have affiliate links to Amazon U.S., and also some affiliate links to AliExpress. AliExpress is starting to make some really nice versions of this. I just ordered up a bunch. I'm gonna use them for myself. They're like half the price. Shipping time right now with the COVID thing, I don't know. And for you Japan people, I'm gonna have some AliExpress links for you. Now, the way an affiliate link works, you order off Amazon or AliExpress, you're paying exactly the same price as you would if you used your own link to click. But if you use my link and click it, the big dog gets a very, very small percentage of whatever from Amazon and it costs you nothing and and it gets me a little bit of credit, helps out the channel a little bit. I'm just starting this, no good money grabbing. And that's where the big bucks start rolling in. Good grief news flash. Here I am at the DDT studios and I just got in these wet notes that I ordered from AliExpress. It took like a week. Unbelievable. And this is one of the links I provided. It's the Keep Diving brand. You know that brand. We all know that brand. And let's have a quick look. So good Cordura on the outside. In the back, it's got a plastic Velcro pocket in which I will keep nothing. Instead, maybe a cool patch or something. I don't know. Here's that D-ring I was talking about. And it's held closed with, with a bungee. And inside, there's a pencil I'm going to throw out, but there's a cord I'm going to use. And let's have a look here. These pages are perfectly reasonable, perfectly reasonable pages. And in the back, another pocket that I'm not going to use. And here, this is pretty cool. This is a page holder. Let's have a look how this works. Pop it down, and this Velcro tab is going to pop up, and bam, I've got my page set man this is really nice actually and, and actually i'm not going to need that bottom velcro i mean i could turn to any page i like and just throw throw that in there and bam bob is your uncle look at this close that up this is really nice for whatever 14 bucks 15 bucks this is very nice came to me in one week two thumbs up recommend so down below, I put some links, um, some folks for the US and some folks for Japan. The AliExpress links are good anywhere in the world. All right, well, I hope that uh, you you at least understand the value of, of a wet notes. Again, I think that, that a diver moving up the diving food chain, this is a pretty good thing to have on your list. This, a compass if you don't have one, SMB, spool, definitely some wet notes. If you're a pro, you definitely should have this. Absolutely should have one of these in your pocket, absolutely. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate the subscribers and, I, and I've really enjoyed all of the great, um, all of the comments that I've been getting. They've been very encouraging. I appreciate it. And I'm going to keep making those videos for, the, for those of you that enjoy it. And glad to hear some people said they enjoyed the stories. Thank you for that. It's, it's the part of the dive trips that I enjoy the most. Alrighty. Thanks a lot. Safe diving. See you on the beach. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder. These guys are 11.